Welcome to Los Angeles, where the local time is 3.51 p.m. Please stay seated with your seatbelt fastened and carry on items stowed until the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Out all night, Uber X outside, I don't look good on you, baby. Fendi or red bottoms, you can keep your problems, baby, I don't want them. What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to another vlog. I wanted to check in real quick and just kind of give some more context to this video because after this check-in, we're just gonna dive right into the LA vlog. My wife and I, we are celebrating so many milestones recently. It was recently my birthday, our wedding anniversary, and of course, obviously the biggest one, we just recently had a baby. Our daughter Kira just turned three, so kind of just a lot of not so little life moments and milestones to be celebrated. And that's exactly what this trip was for. Just her and I, and I obviously decided and wanted to record the whole thing to share with you guys. Everything that we got up to, everything I wore, talked about, and just all of that good stuff, my full LA itinerary, if you're using this video as kind of a LA travel guide to kind of get some inspiration for your next trip to LA, everything and all the details will be in the description box down below, so check that out if you're interested. I also wanted to share with you guys the luggages that I used on this trip and that I use on all of my travels, and that is the luggages from Monos. Shout out to Monos for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. You guys already know what it is, they are my go-to travel brand for all things backpacks luggages duffel bags different types of luggages they have so many sizes colors options to choose from and these two right here are two new in favorites of mine that i again use on this trip and this is future me checking in so these bags have held up super nicely and they were just perfect for my trip to la so this right here is the monos trunk in that really nice silver color obviously you guys can see the detailing through the bureau clips and the photos it is just so good i love the overall trunk style can it makes for a great longer trip or if you're just an overpacker like myself the wheels on this is so nice and buttery smooth has this tsa approved locks right there has a handle on the top and then it has a handle on the side so depending on how you obviously want to hold it comes in a ton of colors and if you want something like a carry-on or a bigger carry-on or just a standard sort of check-in in different sort of sizes they have that as well and then another new in from monos is their duffel bag this is the larger option with the nice zipper compartment on the bottom for like your shoes or just extra storage i wanted to get this one in this nice gray color to kind of match the trunk that I just showed you guys. But this bad boy right here is just such a great sort of personal carry for the plane. It fits nice underneath the seat. It holds so much stuff. And I love how you can hold it from the top like this, like a tr traditional tote. And it also comes with a crossbody strap. Just like the trunk, the duffel bag has so much compartment and sort of just amazing storage opportunities on the inside of the bag. And the duffel also has great sort of opportunities for storage and travel convenience on the outside of the bag hidden compartment on the back so it kind of slides over nicely on top of the luggage when you are again going through the airport and kind of just like that hustle and bustle and that busyness of the airport can be kind of overwhelming so having really great luggages are just perfect for that sort of scenario if any of you guys are looking for new luggages treating yourself to some nice high quality well-made pieces like a travel tote bag or duffel bag or a luggage highly recommend checking out monos i do have a discount code that you guys can use to save yourself some money and i would highly recommend these two pieces right here I will have links to everything in the description box down below along with my discount code. Shout out to Manos for being a supporter of this channel, showing me love, and just making my travels that much more easier and smoother. So with all that being said, let's dive into this, in my humble opinion, fire, banger, amazing, high quality LA travel vlog. What's up you guys, day two here in LA. We got in last night and we got in fairly late. So of course we checked into the hotel, washed off the plane, got freshened up. And then we had dinner at this Japanese barbecue spot. 
as well as we hopped into kind of like this comedy show and the comedy show was really fun i didn't really vlog that much last night just because like i said we were kind of getting off of the plane everything was a little hectic so today even though it's the second day here in la it's gonna feel like the first official day so with everything that i do everything that i wear and all that stuff and everything that i show you guys i will have my full itinerary with outfit links in the description box down below so check that out if you're interested if you're going to la soon um hopefully this vlog will kind of serve you as some sort of inspiration today is naturally going to be my favorite day we have a ton of shopping we're going to go try a bunch of new food spots coffee shops and later on tonight we're going to head to santa monica for you know like the pier and today is just going to be kind of a nice little mix of everything so of course i'll show you guys what i eat what i wear what i get where i shop all all that good stuff so I'll show you guys my outfit and then we'll head out and we'll get the day started all right obviously not the most ideal outfit of the day situation but we'll just work with it on feet we got just some chunky sneakers these pants right here i get asked all the time where it's from these are from uniqlo these are the easy ankle pants my wife hemmed them for me with some hemming tape from amazon we swear by that i will leave that link in the description box down below that's how i got that nice sort of relaxed cropped fit and then the shirt is from California Arts. It's this really nice heavy weight over shirt. I'm just kind of wearing it by itself, but you could obviously, you know, wear a tank top underneath, white shirt, leave it open. And then my hat on top is from one of my favorites, Collegium. Shout out to you guys for entering the giveaway. The person who won the black hat hit me back up and I shipped it already out. And the person who won the brown hat hasn't hit me up yet. So if you're watching this, reply to the comments so I can get you your brown hat. But yeah, that's outfit for today. Rings are from apps. And then I'm gonna throw on these pair of shades right here. This is a new frame for me. I just got this in. This is called the Aries or Eris. And I do have a discount code with Aquila LA. So I'll leave that link in the description box down below as well. But yeah, that's the fit. So let's head out and let's get the official first day, technically second day here in LA started. It was pretty good. There we go. Yeah, so we are at the Beverly Hills location and it's kind of near Rodeo Drive where it has all of the shops like uh, Bottega, Loewe, some other shops at Cost and stuff. So we're just gonna do a ton of shopping right now. Personally, not gonna be buying anything crazy, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I'm really trying not to. I think the biggest thing I wanna get is maybe like some cologne from Loewe or something, but if something, it's not gonna stop me from trying things on. So we'll see what happens. And we don't know what Keelani's gonna buy. All right, you guys, this is that leather jacket that I was showing you in the previous clip. I would personally wear this with a white tank top or a white shirt underneath. I am not wearing one currently, so I'm just kind of holding this jacket together. And it looks a little vintage. I like how it's nice and slightly oversized and cropped. Let me know what you think. I love the kind of detailing on the waistband right here, how it fits a little, like I said, oversized. I like the color detail right here. So yeah, let me know what you think about this piece nice chunky neck cardigan let me know what you guys think about the cardigan trend i kind of like it i feel like it hugs me in all the right places but i feel like a part of me is i mean i know it's not about that but i feel like a part of me kind of feels like it looks a little too feminine it reminds me a lot of the ones that the kind of like fashion girlies are wearing from kate that really nice chunky cropped knit one so a part of me like likes it but i'm not really sold on it but i think it's kind of hard to envision without the shirt or tank underneath but in terms of just the piece alone, it's nice. As you guys can see, nice little steel too. This is 135 from cost. I will leave this link down below because I have to think about it, but I think I might get it. I'm not sure. It comes in black too. So yeah, but I feel like the gray could be a nice little switch up for the fall winter season. Here's a closer look at two of those pieces for you guys. This is the cardigan that I tried on. Again, it'll be linked in the description box down below. And then this is the leather jacket. I think I'm gonna pass on the leather jacket, but I'm still gonna think about the cardigan
Just finished lunch at what was that place called? Sugarfish. Yeah, super good. Ten out of ten. Definitely not somewhere that, like somewhere we would recommend that you should go, but it's not a need that you have to come and try eat at every single day. Oh, there's a car. Check it. There's a car. My bad. What I was saying about sugarfish. Definitely try it out, but not somewhere that you need to come back every single time you come to LA. But there's a nice coffee shop that's right across the street. Um, it's called Maru Coffee, so we're gonna get some coffee, and then we're kind of all shopped out, at least for today. So we're gonna just get the coffee because I need a little energy boost. I have some work to do when I get back to the hotel. Uh, I'm gonna get a coffee when we get it. Um, I'm really full, so I think I'm just gonna watch me get coffee. Watch you get coffee, and then go take a nap while you work. <laughs> what's the best thing that we've eaten so far, and what's the most fun thing that we've done so far? Best thing we've eaten. No, okay, I'm not. No. Oh no, I meant today. Oh. Loki, I'm gonna have to give it to the smoothie for, at Air One. The really? Smoothie, yeah, that was like really good. I know it was just a smoothie, but it was really good. The coconut cloud one yeah. is my personal favorite. I I might have to say the straw. I got the Haley Beaver, you know, strawberry glaze. Yeah. Uh, the most fun thing that we did, I think, for me was. Well, you, we've just been shopping really today. Yeah, so I guess like my favorite store. My favorite store was Lower Lane. Shout out to the sales associate there. She was really nice. She's she great. she oh. had a she just had a baby too. His name, I forgot his name, but it was a cute name. And seven months old, and so we were just chopping it up a lot, like having babies, and she's like a working mom too, so it was sweet. And she was saying she's missing her kid too. And obviously Kira's with well, I don't think I told you guys, but Kira's with Kia's mom and dad. Uh, she's having a blast and they're like sending us cute photos and stuff like videos that. my dad's like making her dance in the mirror yeah. and all kinds of funny things yeah. but and if any of you guys are wondering where Mari and Aiko is our dogs we found this really great boarding place that we like to um, drop them off to they have a blast um, we like the people that work there so if you live like in the Seattle area we drop them off at P pause VIP it's right by the airport um, but yeah we're gonna get this coffee and then later on tonight, we have some fun dinner plans and just some like evening plans. So obviously, we'll take you guys along. But yeah, so get me coffee, please. All right. a power nap and now we're recharged and ready for later on tonight so we have dinner at i think it's like a pasta it's like a pasta place right mm -hmm. pasta and then is there pizza yeah italian italian yeah well the restaurant is in the San santa monica area so after dinner we're just gonna walk around that area go to the pier and i think there's like little activities that you can do there um and just kind of like you know taking that sort of vibe so we're gonna go do that and then probably just take it easy for the rest of the night i don't know maybe have like some dessert or a second dinner not really sure we'll see how it goes we did talk about getting in and out we did talk about <laughs> getting in and out but the issue is that even though it sounds good technically no one does like drop-offs to the hotel that we're staying at it's not on like the food delivery services so we would have to go out of our way to get it so that could be a thing but we'll see depending on how full we are after our actual dinner um but yeah like i said we're about to head out we're gonna go downstairs try to shoot this outfit um and then i'll show you guys obviously what i'm wearing and then i wanted to quickly show you guys what i picked up from loewe as well all right so from loewe i just picked up something small i think if you guys watch all my other vlogs especially my travel vlogs you would know that everywhere i go um when i travel and stuff i always like to kind of get myself just something a little bit you know just something to treat myself usually it's something a bit more big like a sneaker or a pair of boots or like a specific like shirt or whatever but just wanted to keep it a little bit light since it is more of a shorter trip so i saw so much people on tiktok specifically talking about the loewe fragrances and the loewe cologne so this is the loewe 001 cologne i don't know why this is so hard to open actually oh there you go so this is what the box looks like again and then i'm actually gonna wear it tonight so i'm opening it oh nice it kind of opens like this and then this right here is the bottle. 
Let me show you guys closer. I like how the bottle is just nice and simple. And then obviously that wooden top is a nice little touch. Doesn't really come with much, but the lady did say a little truly does go a long way. So she was saying, try to really only spray it once. It really does pack a punch. So I'm gonna wear this tonight. Obviously I'm already here. So, and I already opened it up. So nice little something different. I will leave this link down below as I mentioned earlier, but I'm also gonna leave my go-to cologne link down below as well. All right, breaking down my outfit real quick. Again, not the best sort of outfit of the day situation but we're just gonna roll with it so this is actually a set from cos i don't know if you guys can see and i'll have everything linked down below it's kind of like this nice sort of navy blue over shirt situation that feels like really lightweight i just have a basic tee underneath again it's kind of more of that utility vibe and then the pants i don't know if you can see it in the mirror but it's like a stacked well i styled it stacked with my prada boots as you can see right here, to kind of play up that, you know, utility and military style sort of vibe. So the pants are just um, the matching set for this overshirt. Exaggerated pockets, as you can see. And then it's meant to be styled like just a standard kind of straight leg pant with a crop. But because I'm a bit shorter, I kind of took that advantage and styled it up with combat boots instead. So it kind of gathers and gets that nice stack going with the visual interest. And then as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna finish everything off with this new Loewe cologne. And then like the lady said, just one spritz. Wow, that is nice and fresh. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So yeah, that is the fit. We're gonna head to dinner right now and I'll kind of show you guys and share more of the night as it goes on. Alright you guys, we just finished dinner. I have to tell you this story. So Crazy. you guys saw we got, or I got uh, Prosecco, or I got Rosé I think. Rosé, and then I got pizza, and then Kia got pasta. But what you guys didn't see was when they first brought out my drink, there was actually a super big piece of glass that was at the bottom of the glass of my drink. And so I'm the type of person, I always look at something before I consume it, just in case you never know. And luckily I did. And so I just obviously called the waiter and I was like really discreet about it because I wasn't trying to make a scene or anything. Obviously like things happen. And so I called the waiter and then they took care of it and they were like super apologetic or whatever. But I say that all to say at the end of our meal, the general manager comes down and he was like, super apologetic and he actually comped the whole meal and then he ended up giving us a $200 gift card to use for our next time here but obviously we're not from LA like we live in Seattle yeah. and so there was these two girls that were right next to us and they were like for, at least from low-key eavesdropping on their conversation they were like pretty nice so I actually gave the gift card to them and so it all worked out they were like super shook basically they were like oh my god that's so nice of you and um, yeah so I gave the gift card to them the meal was comped so overall good night nice yeah. little free dinner yeah free dinner i'm a little red as you can see but <laughs> i promise i'm not drunk it's just a little asian glow you guys already know what it is but uh so dinner was good the pizza was really good i have like leftovers for later on tonight too how was your pasta i mocked that plate you did yeah so <laughs> now so we're hungry. going to uh santa monica pier just to like walk around the pier maybe get like some dessert like a funnel cake or something like that um and obviously i'll take you guys along but i just had to check it in the vlog and share that story and, and you guys are in la Ospi? Ospi? You guys saw it in the clips. Definitely check it out. Service was 10 out of 10 and the food was good too. So it's Southern Italian inspired pasta and pizza. And like small plates and stuff. And the wine is good, so check it out. Yeah, it is. Baby, I don't want them on 
Last night was super fun. You guys already, we already recapped the dinner situation. Definitely check them out. Super great service and food was good too. And then we headed to the Santa Monica Pier where there's like all of the kind of carnival games, the rides and all of those, you know, like little mini food stuff like churros um, and like funnel cakes and stuff. And that was really fun. We didn't realize, and I guess it's pretty naive of us because obviously we're not from here. We didn't realize how busy it was going to be, but it was nice kind of seeing everyone, like all the couples, their families, and just kind of everyone hanging out there. We played a couple games and just kind of walked around, took in the beach and stuff. And then we came back here and just kind of ended, ended the night with a movie, some snacks. The second dinner didn't happen, um, but we did have snacks. So yeah, overall good day yesterday. And like I said, today is the last day. We are heading downstairs. We're going to go get some breakfast. Um, get some coffee and then we're gonna head on over to the Melrose Trading Post for those of you guys who don't know what it is It's like a big sort of market thrift vintage kind of Curation of a market. So there's a little bit of everything So we're gonna spend some time there come back here check out of the hotel shout out to the Hawks in LA Super great hotel and it just looks nice and the staff is amazing and there's a lot to do here So highly recommend and the location is great, too um, So we're gonna come back check out of the hotel and then around the area there's some more like last minute shopping bits I want to do, a really nice coffee shop I want to go to. Um, and then for lunch, there is kind of like a food sort of festival going on around here. So we kind of got lucky. So a little bit of everything today, perfect way, nice kind of rounded out way to end the LA trip. Obviously, like I said, we're getting ready right now. About to head out. I will show you guys my outfit and then we'll get on with the last day in LA. Just a nice little simple outfit of the day. This is also what I'm going to wear on the airplane. So I wanted to obviously have a nice fit for whatever we're doing today. Also a practical one for the airplane. So at the top, we have a nice oversized sweater with a basic tee. These two pieces are from H&M. Super good, like one of my favorites and it's super affordable as well. Pants are my classic Uniqlo easy ankle pants with the cropped hemming tape from Amazon. I will link everything down below for you guys. Rings are apps shades we have the Aris or aries from aquila la i do have a discount code with them as mentioned earlier definitely my favorite sunglass brand and this is going to be perfect for the market it's a little bit cloudy right now but i'm sure the sun will pick up and then on feet we just have the nike stussy collaboration this is from a sponsorship that i did with StockX, and it's been one of my favorites ever since Cheers, babies. See, I'm looking for something not necessarily like that. I don't want a blazer. I kind of want something like this. But obviously, for men and for my size, you see, that's just a straight, relaxed fit jacket with the zipper. No blazer. I don't want it to be too moto like this. Blazer vibe. Or like something like this. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. I don't know if it's my size, but just something like this for the fall and winter with maybe like some hoodies, some sweatpants, sneakers would be so good.
shopping was a success. There was like nice little shops here. There was. Yeah. Honestly, I was close to buying some stuff, yeah. but... No like big box retailers, more locally owned or kind of just small businesses. And then the food, as you guys saw, was super good too. But we got some dessert for the plane and then we also got Kira. You guys saw in that last clip, we were at this one store. This girl owned it and she like designs all of like these baby clothes and baby accessories and stuff. So obviously our first trip without Kira, we definitely wanted to get her a little something. So we picked her up this nice, which is like a dark brown bomber jacket. Yeah, it's like a brown quilted almost yeah jacket. i'm sure you'll see it sometime soon or whatever but um yeah we're gonna get some coffee and then there's a couple more actual like store stores that i want to go shopping at and then we're off to the airport I'm very excited to see the dogs in here i'm excited to see all of them i miss them yeah it's been fun obviously and yeah. we've been enjoying each other but nothing like you know just like the everyday life with the dogs or kira girl but kira's having a lot of fun with her grandparents and stuff. Her dad just sent us the most cutest photos of Kira. Yeah, that and then he's been uh, dancing with her in the mirror. Yeah, and she it loves super it. super cute. It was like the cha-cha slide yeah. and the cupid shuffle. Yeah. Yeah, like Sarah, we're just waiting on the lid. Um, and then we're gonna head to the coffee shop. This is nice. I like this.